We hear so much negative news out there. We wanted to start the lineup tonight at 530 with something positive. There is an outstanding nine year old from Niagara Falls and his name is Joey Valenti. Joey takes special care of his neighborhood because that's what his best friend taught him. Reporter Steve Brown picks up the story from there. Joey Valenti, age nine, is doing what Mr. Tom taught him. <laughs> Keeping the greenway across the road from his 62nd Street home tidy. Mr. Tom was neighbor Tom Wilson. He passed away six years ago, and Joey still misses him. You see, when Joey was just a toddler, he and Mr. Tom were very good buddies. He came over here with his big tractor kind of thing, and I sat on his lap when I was two, and we were riding all around mowing. Keeping the neighborhood greenway from getting shaggy, Mr. Tom did not like shaggy lawns. So after Mr. Tom passed away, Joey's mom says Joey, then just age four, begged her to go cut Mr. Tom's lawn. So we went over and we cut the grass and weed whacked and raked up the leaves and stuff. And it just progressed into going over into the field because the field was starting to get long and he was getting upset because that looked rough too and Mr. Tom wouldn't like that either. And so for the last five summers, Joey Valenti could be found tending to the greenway even if the equipment was much bigger than himself. And word has gotten out about Joey's selfless civic chores. His enthusiasm for making our city a better place is very much appreciated, not just by his family, not just by his neighbors, but by the city of Niagara Falls as well. This morning, the Falls mayor and much of City Hall came down to thank and honor Joey. The mayor pinned Joey with a key to the city. The DPW folks made him an honorary crew member. There was a t-shirt, from the fire department and a backpack with goodies inside from the police department. And because Joey likes fishing, a new rod and reel. Uh, fish, I'm told, if you ask the mayor, they're jumping all over the place here. So hopefully <laughs> when you're not working on the lawn, you can head out for that there. Thank Please you. For that. This was all a surprise and apparently a good one. It was amazing. And after the presentations, Joey, in his new DPW shirt, went off to get after that shaggy lawn across the street, just like Mr. Tom taught him. Because that's what he would have wanted. Turn the microphone on and make sure that that's appropriate. I was there we go. The spot there you go. Sorry. Right. <laughs> Happens. If there was a downside to this very wonderful day for Joey, it was that his dad could not get off from work to see his son being honored. So Joey's dad, the story is going to be posted on WGRZ.com. We hope it gives you a sense of how impressive we think your son is. That's good. We were getting teared yeah. up just watching that. And it's nice to see you do something where you're not going after people. You do good <laughs> stories, too. Every once in a while. Every once in a while. I was uh, communicating my text with his mom because she supplied the photos of Mr. Tom for uh -huh. us today. He still doesn't understand what the big deal is. And to me, that's the greatest measure of this young man's character is that he doesn't understand that he was doing something extraordinary. He was just doing what it is he was taught. He was led by very good example by his parents and by his late friend. Certainly. Joey is such an old soul, too. You can just see it. Yeah. He's great kid. And just great of the mayor and all those city workers to show up and support him. He maybe wanted them someday. Yeah. <laughs> he could very well could be. He'll be welcome. Great story. Thank you, Steve.